Keep moving, you cutlass rats! Get moving or I'll make you! Aye, aye, sir. I wanna see you working that dig like a whore works for a wealthy man's purse. We're feeling, lads! We're feeling! Yes, sir. You want the cop? Not me. the devil do you want? William Terrell, I challenge you for the captaincy of this vessel. You challenge me? You dare challenge me, you bloody sod! I'm Captain Christopher Raven. I have the right of challenge by the rules of the coast. You think you have rights? 
Vermin like you have no rights. Donovan, is this worthy piece of rubbish out of my sight? Beg your pardon, sir. No can do. It is a proper challenge by the rules of the coast. We can't interfere. You little shit. Once I'm done with this horse, son, I'll skin you alive! <laughs> Lads, as per the rules of the coast, the ship goes to the victor. Long live Captain Christopher Raven, Master of the Serpent! Anyone got a problem with that? Speak up now. Heard the news. Surprised? <laughs> Not at all. When do we leave? Soon. Be prepared. I'm always prepared. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes? We need to go to the bridge down first. Why? A group of maroons have gathered there. I need to talk to my people. It's urgent. All right. We'll head there first, then. Good. Let's set sail. So, my captain, she's yours and ready to set sail. Just say the word. Good. Make sure she's well stocked. We set sail as soon as I tell Marcus the good news. We'll be waiting for you, Captain. When you're ready, just take the wheel.
Guess you need your boat repaired. Fishing? More or less. Not to worry. I can fix any ship. What are you after? A two-legged shark. <laughs> Anything you need, you'll find it here. Don't bet on it. Just show me what you've got. With pleasure, sir. Sir, you're a discerning customer. <laughs> Hardly. I'm doing business with you, aren't I? Magnificent sense of humor. Please, have a look.
That sounds about right. What do you need, Chris? A drink? Information? Where can I find Hammerhead Harry? The money lender? Huh, he's up top. <laughs> Why should I? I'm looking for a good weapon. I sell booze, Captain, not weapons. You need to find a trader. There should be a couple of them in my tavern, and I'm pretty sure one of them is selling weapons. There's also a smith in our city, if you need one. Oh. Sure, see you. Yes, you need your boat to return. Not to what? A two. Ever again? What the hell? Captain! Ship spotted, sir! She looks abandoned! Radio weapons. We're going aboard. Go and fetch Marcus. Aye, aye, sir.
It's Peterson. Gods, they've been savage. You look like you've seen the devil himself. All the cargo's been looted. We have no business here. But I got back some of these. <laughs> My own bottles. At least he had a decent drink before he died. Fate always sees fit to take the best among us. Peterson was a good man. Now this Torado bastard. To hell with Torado. Didn't you see? See what? That symbol. Your man Peterson had the same symbol carved into him that my father did. The bastards that killed my family, they're back. Ah! Chris, this cannot be. You know the Devil's Tines died when the earthquake hit, along with half of Port Royal. Neville and his men have been shark food for years. What's wrong with you, man? You saw my father's body when you carried it from that bloody beach, didn't you? You saw the mark they carved into him? We... we buried him together! God damn it. You still have that accursed thing with you? Christopher, the Tynes are dead. Anyone with a blade can carve a mark. You of all men should understand. Those bastards took everything from me. My family deserves vengeance. And all this time, I thought it was lost to me. And you want to cast it off as a coincidence? You think it's some random fool drawing symbols with a blade? This symbol? Are you serious? Christopher, the men who murdered your family are gone. If you don't stop this, you'll end up chasing whispers of pirates across the Caribbean like that madman Santorio. You're absolutely right, Marcus. If anyone knows anything about this, it'd be Santorio. Are you mad, Christopher? He's a pirate hunter. He kills people like you for a living. For pleasure. And what better man to help me track a pirate? But how do we find him? Not this time. This fire will burn you, just as it burned your father. Maria, she'll know how to find Santorio. What can that little hooker know? Other than pleasuring the men of Bridgetown and that filthy den of hers. I'll need supplies. Chris, you go on ahead. Let's meet after you've had a chance to talk to Maria. Well, where can I find you? I'll wait for you outside the brothel.
You still remember where Maria's brothel is? I'm tired, not dumb. Big building with the tall, round tower on the east side of town. What about you, Marcus? Where are you going? I'm going to meet some of my friends. Friends? <laughs> what friends? Maroons, Chris. When do we meet? I should be back by the time you're done with Maria. I'll be waiting outside the brothel. See you then. Gelb the road to sweet a thigh, sticking me hand and a dropping me eye. A doleful damsel I her tried, tell me a hallelujah. Guns and drums and drums and guns her rule. Guns and drums and drums and guns her rule. Her rule with your guns and drums and drums and guns. And we nearly slew you. Yeah. Oh my darling dear, you look so clear. Johnny a hallelujah. Where are your eyes that were so mild, Harold? Where are your eyes? 
that wears so mild Peru, Peru, where are you ice that wears so mild When my poor heart you so forgot Why did you skedaddle from me and the child Who Johnny hardly do you Where are you legs that used to run Peru, Peru Where are you legs that used to run Peru, Peru Where are you legs that used to run when you went forward to carry Oh no! Oh shit! It's Raven! Raven? What are you doing in Bridgetown? I, I was gonna... I, um... Listen, I know I owe you money, and I'll get it! I will! Things haven't been going too good lately. You know, since my fiancé died. You, you, you remember her? Oh yes, I do. You had her whoring for your next tankard of rum, if I remember right. I, I, she was just a really friendly gal. Look, I'll get the money. I just need some time. Time? Of course. I'm not unreasonable. You've got the time it takes for me to draw my sword. Shall we trade? Anything you need, you'll find it here.
Hey, you! I mean, sir! What? Damn, you're scary. It's that hook and that scowl. <laughs> Raven, right? The new captain of the Serpent? I'm here about one of your crew. Goes by the name of Donovan? He's one of my men. What's the problem? He in some kind of trouble? Well, yes and no. Yes as in he owes my employers a rather large favor, and no as in you can make this debt go away. Let me guess. This debt goes unpaid, and Donovan's a dead man. You guess right. So here's the deal. There's these papers, see? And they could cause some trouble for my employers. My employers are the same people Donovan owes this favor to. So why ask me? We'd ask Donovan, except he's under your orders. We respect the chain of commands, Captain, but if you can't help us resolve this, Donovan may have an unfortunate, but completely avoidable, accident. And you need me to get these documents for you? Not for me. It's for an acquaintance of my employers over in St. Lucia. Look, I'm sure you're a busy man, and I have to report back. What do you say? I'll do it, but only if it pays well. Of course it does. As it happens, some Spaniards got their dirty little manos on some rather delicate documents. Recover any papers bearing this mark, then bring them to our mutual friend in St. Lucia. I'll mark their route on your map. Don't destroy the ship, just board it. If it sinks, so do Donovan's chances of leading a healthy life. Get the documents to our friend in St. Lucia, get paid, and Donovan's debt is cleared. Anything you need, you'll find it here. Don't bet on it. Just show me what you've got. With pleasure, sir.
You want some rum, Captain? What can I do for you? Give me some rum. Here you go. That's eight reales. Have you heard of any officers looking for a job? Hmm. There's some guy missing an eye. Why don't you ask him? Give me some rum. Here you go. That's eight reales. Tell me something about trading around here. We mostly produce rum, tea and cotton, and we buy coffee, cocoa and ebony. You know where I can make some money? The general, I mean, the governor, is looking for men to work for him. He's a good man, and I hear he has no problems working with pirates. Heard any interesting rumours? They say the water around Kumana is red, and there are often bodies floating up on the beaches. Have you heard of any officers looking for a job? Hmm. There's some guy missing an eye.
Amber, isn't it? Keep me company for a while. I'd love to, but I'm busy. And Maria has her eyes everywhere. Look what the wind blew in. Watch out, ladies. A true bastard of the high seas walks among us. Uh, Maria, how's the sex trade going today? Moving the men smoothly in and out? Always. I had to turn down more marriage proposals than usual today. Not all men have hearts of stone. I really would be a bastard to pull a classy lady like you away from all this extravagance. Since your pants are still buckles, I assume you have a different reason for being here today? What do you know about Santorio? My girls can handle every desire a man has. But Santorio, all he's interested in is pirate's blood. Since none of my girls are pirates, he has no use for my little business here. Doubt he has much use for women at all. For us, or for what's between our legs. You're not answering my question, Maria. Because I don't know anything, Christopher. All I know is that you should stay away from him. The man's a fanatic, and his only joy is killing pirates. No one knows where he stays or where he goes. He appears from nowhere, attacks, then disappears. Maria, I need to find him. What about your girls? You seem different today. What happened? Why do you care so much about Centurio all of a sudden? Talk to Millie. She used to have a regular John, a trader that was always bragging about doing business with Centurio. He's dead now, but Millie's still with me, and he was practically in love with her. Some men speak more freely between the sheets than they do anywhere else. Millie's over there with Pete. Do me a favor, keep your discussion quiet. Pete's a bastard, but he's a bastard who pays well. I don't need blood spilled all over my floors. When am I not well behaved? Just don't kill him. Where is this Pete? In the hallway. You went past him. He's with Millie. I'll be back soon. No doubt you will be. That's right, baby. Old Pete's gonna give you a proper ride. Mm, why don't we go into the room, Pete? I've been waiting for you all day. What? You ain't enjoying my company? Of course not, Pete. You know you're my favorite. Uh, get up, Millie. Hey! What are you doing? I'm not done with that, bitch. Hey, don't you turn your back to me, boy -o. Calm down, friend. I just need her for a minute. She'll be back on your lap in no time. Have a drink on me. Ah, I 
Are you fucking bastard? Ah, it. Now you listen Grass to me. It. The sooner you tell me what I want to know, and the sooner you can go over there and take care of that piece of shit. What do you want, Christopher? You're costing me money. You're going to lose more than money if you don't shut up and listen to me. You used to have a regular, a trader that dealt with Santorio. Did he ever talk about where they'd meet? You're hurting me. You know we don't talk about what goes on with our customers. You better let me go before Maria sees you. Who do you think sent me over here? Now tell me what I want to know. Uh, all right, he used to talk about someplace south of Puerto Rico. I can't remember what it's called. Think harder. Ow! I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Something like Stargazer Strait. Stargazer Strait? Yes, that's it. He said it's north of there. He'd laugh about how no one thinks to look in the teeth, that everyone sails right past him. Okay, that's all I know. Can I go now? Good girl. <sighs> Good luck getting through the teeth. You fuck. Oh, yeah? And what do you know about it, Pete? Jesus, Pete, shut up! What do you mean by that, Pete? No, don't! Enlighten me. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. 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 Ah. You should start talking, Pete, before I reload this and try for that knee again. Stop! You There's a special fight you need to get through the rocks. They'll shoot you dead without it. And where do I find this special flag? Arthur Satchmore's got one, but he was clubbed to death in the street weeks ago. Go see his widow. She lives in town. Maybe she's got it. Well, now, that wasn't so hard, was it? No. Thanks for the tip, Pete. <laughs> you can keep the coin. Jesus, Christopher. Guess you won't be coming in here anytime soon. And Millie's just lost her afternoon session with Pete. Can't keep it hard with a hole in your hand. Oh, forget about it. It was worth it hearing that pig squeal. I guess most of the girls enjoyed it too. You certainly have a way with people. Of course you do. See you, Christopher. Christopher, I've been looking all over for you. I guess this means you're in trouble. You boys can't be in a room together for five minutes without starting a brawl, can you? Ah, you know how it is. Damn gods come by, such a stuff, shove us around. One things lead to another, and some of the younger fellows start shoving back. We can use some help. Marcus sent me to find you. Figures. He knows you lousy lot are the closest thing I've got to friends around here. Lousy lot? I remember that. If we get out of this alive, come on.
thanks, Chris. If not for you... Bastards came on quick. Screw them. So, what did you learn from Maria? I need to talk to Amanda, Arthur Satchmore's widow. Her husband had a flag we can use to get past Santorio's guards if we can find it. Well, go and talk to her. Any idea how you're going to get the flag? I'll figure something out. I'm sure you will. I'll be here for a while. You mean you're coming with me to meet Santorio? No, what for? I am needed here. Good luck. Stay sharp.